back to Loretta Lynch. I think he's lost his f***ing mind. <laughs> okay, I'm uh, Big Rick Carmichael, Ricky's dad, and we're over here getting ready to go to uh, the races for the Loretta Lens Outdoor Amateur Race. For me, I always uh, enjoyed going, but there was always so much pressure because I was always expected to win. So, uh, you know, now that I'm retired from professional racing, uh, been retired now for five years, uh, I wanted to have the chance to go back to the Redlands and, and race there and enjoy myself and, uh, and have fun. Uh, and have no expectations. Obviously, yes, we want to win, but at the same time, it's not uh, it's not a must situation for me anymore. So, uh, you know, a lot of people ask, why would I even want to go down this road? Well, that's why. I want to be able to go and race my motorcycle, something that uh, I love doing, and uh, I can go and do it and have no pressure now. Uh, I can bring my family there, my kids and my wife, and we can make it a full-on vacation with the motorhome. So. Uh, that's uh, that, that's my uh, thought process behind this, and this is why I want to do it. Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's just a great experience for for everyone. We uh, rode Friday here at my ranch before we uh, before we headed up to Aonia Pass. Uh, that's where the uh, that's where the area qualifier was for my region, the southeast region, and uh, we all drove up. Myself, my dad. Uh, JH, uh, a couple friends of mine, and uh, yeah, we drove up Saturday, got there, was able to uh, sign up, check out the track. Uh, I have never been there. Actually, it wasn't there when I was racing amateur way back when, so uh, uh, I, I was excited to really kind of get a lay of the land. So we got there late afternoon on Saturday around 5 o'clock, and uh, there's a couple races going still, so we were able to check out some of the amateurs, which was really, really cool. Uh, I think the sport's in great hands. There's a lot of young, great talent out there, without a doubt. So uh, that was what we did Saturday. Sunday morning, we got up early. I think uh, sign-up was from 7 to 8, and then uh, rider uh, uh, riders meeting was at 8 o'clock, and and practice was uh, started sharp at 8.30. Well, we're here, bike ready, riders ready, and we're getting ready to go for our first practice. So let's see how we do. First moto action, pro sport. Race against these young guys. Should be pretty good. Might get my butt handed to me, so uh, either way it's gonna be fun. Dude, I almost missed my moto. I go down there, I got like the last gate position, so uh, definitely wasn't on it. Wasn't expecting things to be going that fast, so I put myself in a bind right there. Got a decent start, and uh, Jeremy Martin was in front of me, so it took me about I don't know, lap and a half, and I realized, dude, these inside lines aren't cutting it. Changed up my lines, and I'd say, I don't know, it was one and a half, two seconds behind. Within three corners of when I changed my line, I could see I was starting to reel, and I'm in. I'm like, okay, I got this. And then I wreck. When I wreck, the throttle tube slips off, almost off the end of the grip. Can't finish the moto. Throttle tube? Yeah, it Good. slid off the end of the grip. <laughs> <laughs> it slid off the end of the handle. Yeah, I thought we were going to have to break out tools and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that I happened. I have never seen it. that happen my whole entire race career. My second moto would be the plus 25. I wasn't late to the gate this time, had a better gate pick. Got out to a good start, and uh, it was fun. Really 
and uh, had a nice lead within a lap and a half and uh, really just worked on my lines and was trying to mentally prepare myself for the next uh, pro sport moto. Second moto of the pro sport, I was to the line plenty of time, I was actually early. We got a better start, second around the first corner, had some guy on a Kawasaki in front of me, don't even know his name, but we go through three corners, go around the outside to pass this guy, and my total minds are thinking, ah, this is just what I need, I'm gonna blow by this guy. So uh, I went to go around this guy, he goes over the inside line, blows, blows across the corner and just knocks me off the track. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on here? And uh, when that happened, Jeremy got by me, so we're kind of following each other. I regroup, got my you know mud going everywhere because they water the track. Get going, Jeremy passes the guy on the Cowie, I pass the guy on the Cowie. I almost pulled right up on Jeremy in this one corner and, and was making a run at him, but uh, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna follow him for one lap and plan together and make my move. Well, we went uh, a half a lap and he goes this inside rut and just buries his bike in there and I do the same thing and the berm was kind of soft and blowed out and just pile drive my front front end into the uh, into this rut and it was kind of muddy and thick if you will and uh, threw it down on the mat again so I uh, picked my bike up and had to play catch up for a couple laps you know and then before I knew it the race was over overall wise with a 15 and a fourth I ended up 10th and they only took eighth, so we're going to go to the regional in that class as an alternate and uh, work a little bit harder. Second moto uh, shortly after that was uh, my second 25-plus uh, uh, class. Uh, got the hole shot, ripped a nice hole shot, and uh, so it was fun to kind of have a clear track, focus on my lines, and ride as if I was in the lead for the pro sport. All right, that's a wrap. Hey, on you pass. Tallahassee bound. Nice little five hour drive. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Later.